Congolese refugees living in the Kiziba camp in Karongi district and the temporary one at the Nkamira in Rubavu district have again denounced the killings taking place against the Tutsi in different parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo. They did so by organizing a peaceful marches on Monday. We have the details as we start off tonight's edition. <laughs> The refugees, many of whom were born in the camps, their parents fled too, say all they want is for the world to recognize their plight and that of the people left back home in their motherland. We are here today with the purpose of uh, spreading our message to the world that genocide is happening. And we want uh, the action to take place either by human rights and different organizations, United Nations, different, different countries to help uh, stop the genocide. We are calling different organizations to, to stop that mass killing of uh, people and I would like to take them back to 1994 whereby Rwanda has faced genocide and different uh, organizations uh, were here being careless seeing people being killed so we don't want that we don't want that anymore being uh, 28 years in a refugee camp is uh, a struggling life it's, uh, i'd say that it's it's a mess it's a mess we don't want this anymore we don't want to continue the 29th year in a refugee we want to go home uh, we want to see the motherland we want to see the homeland that our parents used to tell us the leaders of the refugees, though much older than Mupenzi, also condemned the international community's indifference to the atrocities being committed in the DRC and the fate of the many people that have fled them over the years. The government in the DRC is watching as the Nyamurenji, Hima and Tutsi are being killed in this country, yet it has the power to stop it. We want the international community listening to us to help us to restore peace in the Congo so that we can leave these camps and return to our homes. We condemn the killings being committed against the Tutsi and call on the international community to adapt a united front in considering what we are asking of them so that they may stop to watch as those killings continue committed by the government of Kinshasa and the atrocities began a long time ago. We are astonished by the international community and SADC continue to support that government instead of looking into how security can be restored. We are Congolese nationals and Congo and Rwanda are two different countries. All we want is for our rights to be respected and for the killings being committed by the government in Kinshasa to seize. The Kiziba camp in Karungi has been home to more than 14,000 refugees for 28 years, while the temporary one in Hamira houses more than 6,000 refugees. <laughs> 